God, us, and time. Have you ever wondered, like I do sometimes, what God is up to with the time he has given you and I? My name is Grace Bukachi. You're watching Sitam Church Online. Ecclesiastes chapter 3 and verse 11 says, He has set the right time for everything. This is the good news translation. He has set the right time for everything. He has given us a desire to know the future, but never gives us the, the satisfaction to fully understand what he does. That's what the Good News Version translation says. This is what the King James Version says. He hath made everything beautiful in his time. Also, he hath set the world in their heart so that no man can find out the work that God maketh from the beginning to the end. I think of a song that I used to sing as a young lady that says in his time, in his time, he makes all things beautiful. So God does have time details for us. And perhaps you and I are trying to understand why we're in the space that we're in and why God has allowed it. It's his timing. So what's he doing with us and in us through this time space? May I suggest to us some three C's that perhaps he's developing consistency in you and I in that season, that duration, that space called time. Um, that's why perhaps you go to school or take a course and take it over a particular time. That's why perhaps not perhaps <laughs> he allows a mother to carry a baby for nine months he is allowing growth to happen within that little fetus and so and he's causing every organ to develop consistently he's, it's a continuous thing that he's doing within that time space um, and, and, and I guess God is very committed to us. Not I guess, I know he is. And he hasn't allowed you and I to be on this earth for no reason. And so perhaps he's allowing you in that time space to develop commitment in you. Commitment that you've not thought about. Um, a place of, of grounding, of earthing, of, okay Lord, I'm here. I'm stuck here and so I'm committed to this and develop within me whatever it is you're developing. God, time and us. It's an amazing space and I know amazing movies have been made about it. But what about our walk with the Lord, our daily relationship with Him? Do you sometimes wish that it would go fast? That you're in something and you wish it could just go so quickly and you'd be over it? You know, you can't grow a child fast. That child has to grow. And every year you celebrate a birthday. As an adult, you celebrate a birthday. You celebrate milestones. There's a timing thing right there. Um, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a discussion I have had in my heart and mind that sometimes makes me wonder. And every time I do wonder, I realize that even in creation, God planned that plants and that vegetation would take time. Can you imagine if you planted a seed? And this is just my awesome imagination mind doing gymnastics on me. And you just put the seed and then you just watch it sprout. It doesn't happen that way, but on camera as it does. Eh? They, they, 
fast forward them, whatever they do. But God has something he's developing in you and I. We just need to ask him for the patience, the strength, and the wherewithal to stay in that space called time that he's growing us in for his glory and for his honor. It may not be comfortable. It may be painful. It may be joyous. But it is a space where he's at work in your life and in my life. And with that, I just want us to pray that God will give us the ability to stay strong in the space of time that he's given us. You know, allow me to end it this way. When you see a fruit grow on a plant, on a fruit tree, the longer that fruit stays on that tree, when it is finally ripe, it is so sweet because it experienced the season of time. Some people call it the test of time. May God develop within you and I the sweetness of the fruit he's growing in us for his glory and his honor. And so yes, God has our seasons and our times in his hand. He is the author and the finisher of our race. Shall we pray? Lord, thank you. Thank you so much that whatever space and time we're in right now, it may feel very uncomfortable. But we give and surrender this time, and this space to you. Grow in us. Grow in us, Lord, that consistency, that commitment, that capacity and competence to be that sweet fruit that you're developing in us for your glory and for your honor. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. God bless you. See you next time on Sitom Church Online.